Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this this colorful particle logo reveal animation in After Effects. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition and let's call this logo and just click on OK. Now I'm going to quickly drag my logo. It's completely up to you. You can use whatever logo you want or you can also use your text. So let me just quickly scale this down to something like this. And now we can go back to the main comp. Now I'm going to first right click and let's create a new solid. So let's just click on OK. Now on this one, we are going to apply fractal noise. So just search for fractal noise and drag it onto this. Now over here, we are going to change a couple of the settings. So first I'm going to increase the contrast. So let's set this to something around 300 and the brightness. We can set this to something around negative 18 or 20, whatever you want. Now let's go under the transform and from here we are going to first uncheck the uniform scaling. Now I'm going to increase the scaling quite a bit. So let's just set this to something around 1400 and the height we can also increase this little bit. So let's set this to 300. Now we are pretty much done with this look and complexity you can play around and you can increase it or decrease it however you want it's completely up to you so once you're happy with this we can start applying another effect so the next one is called 12 so just search for it and let's drag it on to this and over here i'm going to just increase the amount so let's increase it quite a bit after that i'm going to increase the radius as well so that we have this sort of look and I'm going to just set this to something like 70. So I think this is looking fine. And we can probably increase this a little more. Yeah, this is looking fine. So once you are done with this, we are ready to animate it. So now to do the animation, we can select this and let's select the pen tool and we are going to draw a rough mask. So let's go to somewhere around here and let's draw a mask something like this. And after that, we can select this and let's press M for mask and let's add a keyframe for mask path. Now let's move to somewhere around two seconds and I'm going to just simply select the mask and let's select these two points and I'm going to move them to the middle. So let me just quickly enable the title action save so that we can see the middle point. Now let's just zoom in and just place it in the middle just like that now we can use the second endpoint and let's move it to the middle as well just match its point something like this now you can see that we have this sort of animation and if you want you can go somewhere in the middle let's say over here and after that you can select this and we can select this endpoint and let's move this further so that we have a little bit of more of this perfect now we can select this press f to feather this up and i'm going to just increase the feather quite a bit something like this so there you go now we have this very subtle sort of animation also we can just simply move them a little bit closer in the beginning i don't want them to be this far so there you go now we have this sort of look after that on this one we are going to apply a couple of effects to add some colors to this so the first one is tint let's drag it onto this now let's set the map of white to whatever color you want and now i'm going to just pick this really nice blue color just click on ok now we can apply exposure to this to just add some highlights to this uh, let me just quickly increase the exposure now you can see that we are able to see this uh, really bright color something like this you can play around with the gamma as well so you can play around with the gamma and yeah i think this is looking fine 
Now, if you want to play around with the look, you can just simply increase or decrease the complexity, something like this. And you can also play around with the contrast to give it different looks. But for this one, we are going to stick with this. So let me just play it. So we have this sort of animation. Now I can select this layer, press Ctrl D to create another copy. And on this one, we are going to just change the twirl amount something like this so now you can see we have these two layers and on this one we are going to change the color so i'm going to make this something like orange now we can select this again press ctrl d to duplicate it and on this one we can play around even more something like this and let's change its color so i am going to change this to pink now let's add some glow to this so for that right click and let's add an adjustment layer and on this let's search for glow let's drag it onto this and let's pick a nice point something like this and over here let's decrease the glow intensity and i'm going to increase the radius a little bit something like this after that we can select the glow and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and on this one i'm going to just increase this radius and let's add a little bit of intensity something like this so here you can see we have these really nice particles so once you're done with this we are ready to add a little bit more things so let me just quickly select these three layers and press u now we're going to pick a point where we have these points at maximum brightness so somewhere around here now i can press ctrl d to duplicate all of these layers now let's move them to the top and also let's quickly change their color so i'm going to make them sandstorm and let's duplicate them once again by pressing ctrl d and let's place these on top as well and on this one let's change this to pink now i can select all of these layers and let's change their properties to something like add or screen maybe yeah this is fine so now we can play around with its intensity so we can select all of these layers which are at the top except these bottom ones and we can press t for opacity and let's add a keyframe so we have the maximum brightness over here and we can move a couple of frames before and let's set this to zero and after that we can move a couple of frames ahead and we can just simply add more keyframes at 100 and then let's just move to this point and we are going to set these to zero. Now we are ready to add our logo. So for that, I'm going to select our logo comp and let's drag the logo over here. So you can see our logo is looking fine. And we can pick a point somewhere around here. And let's select all of these layers and I'm going to right click and let's pre-compose. And I'm going to call this animation. Just click on OK. Now let's set the track mat again to add. Let's quickly change its color. And at this point, I'm going to select the animation comp and let's press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's select the logo below this and I'm going to change its track mat to alpha mat. So if I play back here, you can see our logo is visible only when our track mat is visible. Something like if I disable this, you can see that we have this sort of reveal and you will notice that our logo will go away. So we can fix that by simply selecting a point. So let's pick this one and let me just quickly enable the animation. And at this point, I'm going to select the layer, press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer in two. And I'm going to change the track mat to none. Here you can see we have this really nice reveal. And let's add a couple of more things. So first I'm going to add some particles. So for that, I'm going to right click and let's create a new solid. Let's call this particle and let's search for CC particle world 2, CC particle system 2. And on this one, we're going to change a couple of the settings. So first I'm going to go inside this and let's increase the size quite a bit. Let's go under the physics and I'm going to set the velocity to something like 0.6 and gravity. We can set this to zero. Let's go under the particles and I'm going to change this from line to tetrahedron and let's change the color to white for both birth and death and let's play around with a couple of these settings so first i'm going to 
decrease the size a little bit something like this and let's play around with the max variation now we can select this and we can also set this to add something like this now again we are going to select the animation comp and let's press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's place it on top of the particles now we can select the particles and again we can change the track mat to alpha mat so now you can see that our particles are visible only where we have these lights and let's go to somewhere around here we can decrease the number of particles using this and we can increase the longevity we can play around with these values so there you go this is looking fine let's pick this and i'm going to place this below our adjustment layer all the animation is done but still this is looking very static so we are going to add some shake to this so for that let's create a null object and let's apply effect called slider controller and let's duplicate this and on this one i'm going to select this and let's press p for position and let's hold on the alt key and we are going to add an expression to this so let's type wiggle and first i'm going to pick with the first property then we can add comma and then we can pick with the second property so now we can control the wiggle expression using these slider controllers and we can just quickly select this and let's go to somewhere around here let's add both of these keyframes and i'm going to set the top one to something like 50 and bottom one we can set this to 25 now i can press u and you can see that our null is animating and we can quickly select all of these layers and let's parent them to the null we can place the adjustment layer on top so now if I play back here you can see we have this really nice shake and let's pick some point somewhere around here and we can set both of these values to zero something like this we can also move this little bit ahead just like that so we have this animation now one last step is to add some light streaks to this so for that I'm going to search for CC light sweep and let's drag it onto the logo and over here we can play around with its position so let's place it over here now i'm going to increase the width and let's increase the intensity edge thickness we can increase this as well now we can animate it using the center property something like this so let's place it somewhere around here and let's go to this point let's add a keyframe then you can press u and let's move to somewhere around here let's move this all the way to this side so you can see that we have let's move the keyframes so here you can see we have this really nice shine just like that let's move the keyframes little bit ahead and here you can see we have this really nice shine so now we are done with our animation and the best part is that if you want you can just change the logo however you want you can just go inside this comp and you can use logo or text whatever you want so if you want you can just select the text tool and type whatever you want so if i go back here you can see we have updated our text just like that now you can also play around with the colors for that you have to go inside the animation comp and you can play around with these tint colors to give it a different look so this is how you can create these kind of particle logo reveal animation all this inside of after effects and you will notice that some of the particles are visible at the end so for that you can just select the animation comp and you can add little bit of opacity animation so let's add keyframe over here and i can go to set this to zero also let's do the same thing with the particles so just copy the keyframes and let's select the particles and let's paste it there you go now we have this really nice animation so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon and if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one